Youth Runner here with the gentleman from J. Sarah. Uh, we saw a great Woodbridge tune-up uh, tonight under the lights. Uh, the next time they are under the lights will be at Great Park uh, in Irvine. Uh, six guys uh, all under uh, nine minutes, uh, a 14 second uh, spread, uh, a really uh, fantastic indication of the work that this group's been putting in uh, in the summer uh, and here or early in the, uh, in the school year. Uh, I'm gonna uh, start over here. Uh, introduce yourself, please. I'm JD Ewing. JD, obviously uh, just uh, the, uh, the way the group has been so cohesive, uh, right? I mean, obviously, uh, you know, I just, I uh, so appreciate like the chemistry and the camaraderie in the group. How much fun is it like when we actually, you know, uh, get to see that like kind of in a live simulation, you know, uh, tonight, you know, as opposed to like just the usual workouts that you guys are able to translate what you're doing in practice all the time to a, you know, to a more live situation like this. Yeah, it's so, it's so much fun running with everybody every day and it just feels good to come out here and uh, run a good time and really show our best abilities. Awesome, man, well done. Introduce yourself. I'm John Paul DeSantis. John Paul, uh, and just in in terms of really uh, being able to kind of you know uh, to summon that courage, to summon that, uh, that grit, like in the in the latter stages, right? Like just like you're gonna have to do in a you know in the last you know in the last mile at Woodbridge and whatnot. Like you know just how like what did, what did you take away from tonight? You know, and because uh, we know that you guys are fit, we know you guys have been working you know harder than any J Sarah team ever. Uh, but like to be able to. To kind of have to summon that, in, in, you know, in the last K, like how, you know, how much reassurance is there now, you know, going forward to Great Park? I think we just have to remember all the training we've gone through, and how how each one of us matters to the team. It's not just like track a single individual race. It's that it's a whole team. So each of us relies on each other. Well done, man. Introduce yourself. Cole Carlson. Cole Carlson. Cole, you, uh, you guys were doing such a fantastic job. Uh, you and you and Zach, like you know really uh, you know uh keeping that pack tight and then uh, you know and then uh, attacking at the end like it just uh, how how significant how meaningful is it like just to be able to have to, to have that unity and and know that like when one guy is moving with this group you know it's usually you know it's it, it's moving in tandem it's not just moving by yourself yeah whenever it's just like just two of us just running we always like use each other and help each other out to finish the workout or the race or whatever it is awesome man great job Luke Luke Friedel. Luke, 11th uh, grade. Absolutely. Uh, and just in, in, in terms of uh, you guys, you know, holding each other accountable every single day, you know, not even in the workouts, right? Like in the, in you know, the stretching, you know, in the, in the recovery and the ice baths and whatnot, like just how significant is that going to be not only for September, but, you know, making sure this team is where they want, you know, when they want to be at Mount Sac and at Woodward Park in, in, in November? Because I just see, I see a lot of maturity and a lot of focus in this group, but how important is that accountability aspect going to be? It's really important. It's going to play a large role in our season. As we grow as a team, we're going to keep doing, um, keep being consistent, but uh, on the team level. So we'll be hitting the weight room and um, doing extra stretching and we'll, we'll do it as a team to make sure we're all on the same level, same caliber for um, our high level racing come November. Fantastic. Uh, well done. Thank you. Jack Burdett. Jack, uh, obviously, I, I, I give you so much credit because obviously, you know, when when Bradley really separated himself, like that, you just it, it was it, it was like okay, well, we're just gonna we're gonna lead the, uh, this entire group uh, uh, going forward. You know, how much uh, kind of patience does that take just to stay within yourself and say, I need to run Jack's race and and you know the rest of this lineup needs need, uh, needs to run our race because obviously, you know, the coaches are you know kind of giving all of you. Your know, individual instructions and individual splits because I thought you did a great job of really staying within yourself and and, and you know running your race and not and, and not worrying about running you know kind of Bradley 2.0. Yeah, for sure. I think our goal going coming into it was to keep two through five really tight. I think we did a good job of that today. And then once we hit that last lap, it's everybody for himself. So I'm just trying to work on my kick and yeah, keep it sharp for when we get to race. Bradley, uh, you know, highlighted the fact that, like, obviously, as the gentleman to your immediate left and to my right, the great Alden Morales, we know that this group is a speed team, right? Like, yeah. how much are you guys trying to kind of let everybody in, in your division, the southern section of the entire state, know that it's like, hey, we're going to be a strength team by the time we get to November 30th at Woodward Park as well? Yeah, we're, we're trying to be all around in every facet of our, of our training. So whether that's speed, we have lots of speed on our team so we're working on that strength by doing our tempo runs and just getting our edge in strong so we can last in postseason most definitely fantastic job and to that point alden alden Willis. <laughs> uh obviously i know that this is you know as with any team but especially for you that this is really a work in progress it's an evolution and you know and uh 
I know that we're going to see the, the best version of you uh, when it matters most. What do you take away that's most encouraging and, and, and reassuring uh, uh, tonight for, you know, a, a guy that you know was running sub 150, you know, but uh, to remind everybody that it's like, hey, you know, I'm not just an 800 guy or a mile or like, I, you know, I'll be able to go 5K and three miles for these guys when it matters most. Yeah, for sure. I definitely think I have that flexibility and it comes with our training like Jack was talking about our tempo runs and we really build up that strength so we can have that in races and we carry that speed over from track season and knowing that I have a whole team of guys with me right there is very reassuring to know that I have people to train with people to race with and it just makes for a great team and races awesome man uh glad, uh, glad to see you out here i know you're always comfortable on the track under the lights here thank you uh zach o'leary zach uh obviously really significant when i say at the outset six guys uh you and cole obviously really pushing it strong at the, at the end like how, how how meaningful is that for you right that even on a night like tonight when you, you might only be seeing your friends and your teammates out there that you can still hit splits and targets you know in a, in a meaningful situation i mean it's really nice i know like not that long ago i wouldn't have been able to get even close to these splits but now like with the training and our coaches have been giving us the workouts we've been doing. It's really nice being able to stick up with the team in the top five. Awesome. One thing I purposely didn't ask you uh, earlier is uh, is just in terms of this this group finding its identity, right? We know that there's amazing chemistry. We know there's you know incredible cohesiveness. But just you know just not worrying about you know anybody else in in your division, your section, whatever. Just being the best version of uh, of Jay Sarah. Like uh, how. How exciting is it to you know to have that journey of like finding that identity of what this group is all about? I've been super stoked along this journey. Um, I'm one of the two seniors on this team. I mean, I've this team's I've been through it with this team. Um, I mean, my freshman year we only sent one to CIF. We didn't even make it to prelims, and then you know, just the progression of this team. I've been super stoked to have all of them along with it. And obviously, last year we got CIF runner up and state runner up. Um, I know this whole team knows that we could win both, and I know we all very we want it very badly. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just been super exciting along the journey. Awesome. Well done, gentlemen. Congratulations. Look forward to seeing you at Woodbridge. Thank you. Thank you.